Hello. In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. For all real numbers x, the negative of 1 times x is equal to the negative of x. Now, in this series, we are using a list of 10 axioms for the real number system. And I'll leave that list of axioms in the description of the video below. Now, in this video, we are going to be using the following axioms. Axiom 1 is just the commutative law. Axiom 3 is the distributive law. Axiom 5 tells us for every real number x, there exists a real number we call the negative x with the property that x plus the negative x is equal to 0. And axiom 6 tells us that there exists a real number which we call 1 that is distinct from 0 and has the property that 1 times x is equal to x for all real numbers x. Now, in proving this theorem, we are also going to be using some properties that we've already proven. One of those properties is the following. We have proven for all real numbers x, x times 0 is equal to 0. And we've also proven the cancellation law of addition, which says the following. It says, for all real numbers a, b, and c, if a plus b is equal to a plus c, then b is equal to c. Okay. So now let's get into proving this theorem. To start with the proof, since we're trying to prove a statement about every real number, let's give ourselves an arbitrary real number. Call it x. From here, we want to show that negative of 1 times x is equal to the negative of x. And to show this, we apply axioms 1, 3, 5, and 6, and we apply star. The observation is as follows. The idea is we can show that x plus the negative of 1 times x is equal to x plus the negative of x. From there, we apply the cancellation law of addition to conclude negative 1 times x is equal to negative x. So, to start out, first of all, we know by axiom 6 that x is equal to 1 times x. And then, applying axiom 1, we can rewrite 1 times x as x times 1. We can rewrite negative 1 times x as x times negative 1. Great, just like that. But then, applying axiom 3, we can essentially factor out the x. So this is just equal to x times 1 plus negative 1. But by axiom 5, we know that 1 plus negative 1 is equal to 0. So we have x times 0, but by star, we know that x times 0 is equal to 0. And then, by axiom 5, we know that 0 is equal to x plus the negative of x. And so this tells us that x plus negative 1 times x is equal to x plus the negative of x. And from here, we can apply the cancellation law of addition to cancel out the x's. And we're left with negative 1 times x equals negative of x. And that is exactly what we wanted to show. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.